Ahoy everyone, I'm Captain K, Tarkov Sailor. In today's video, I aim to guide you through all checkpoints in the, the quest inventory check, discuss which keys you need, and help you extract. If you find the video of value, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. Let's get right into it. This quest begins on the Black Pond building, which is on the left hand side. Use the helicopter on the map for references to where you should be. We've got to go to floors 2 and 4 of the Black Pond building to knock out the first 3 of the quest objectives. So, I'm pushing up against the doorway on the second floor here to test if you can get the quest objective without opening the door. The answer for this door is no. You need the key. This is the second arsenal room and you need RB Orb 3 here. It's got some goodies in here so make sure to loot up. So I highlight a point that I'd already achieved when I filmed this video of where you should get the duty room to click off at, which is right here. Here we are at the fourth floor, and we're just going to open it up. There's no key needed. Congratulations, we're three-fifths done. The last part of this quest can be found in the White Pond building. You're going to be going to floors two and four here as well. When thinking about this quest, think of it as two and four because both buildings are on the second and fourth floor. So, for this room, you actually don't need the RB or 2 key. I don't know if this is an intended way to do this quest or not, but you can jam yourself up against the left hand side of the doorway and get this objective complete. The last part of this is simple. You need the orb 1 key, and you can't just do the salsa against the left hand side of the door. It doesn't work. Alright, that's it. Now you just need to survive and extract and get off the map. Congrats. You did it. Hooray. But K, I don't have the keys. Well, sorry, you're not going to be able to complete portions of this quest. However, I have included links in the description below for other helpful content creators that show you where to find the keys. And of course, when you're level 20 now, you can buy them off the flea market. I also include this pathing to the extract. So in case you're wondering how to get out of the map, there are two primary extracts that I think are worth pointing out in regards to this quest. The first one you can't have a backpack with, and that is, of course, the gas station extract, where you lay down at the manhole sewer and you get out. The second, of course, is going to be D2. Now, D2 gets a bad rep for being a place where you get extract camped. I'm here to tell you that if you follow the right precautions, you can get out of D2, no problem. However, sometimes you will get pinned down, and that's why I think you really should go out the gas station extract. But what if you find something really good and you put it in your bag and you're like, dude, I just can't leave now. I can't leave, K. Okay, I can't leave. So, the reason why I like D2 is because it connects to both buildings. And if you just know how to get there, it's very quick to get out. And you're gonna be able to leave with your bag, which is very important. You're basically just gonna go down to the base level floor, run across the hallway, and then run downstairs, take a right, and then go through the doorway. People tend to get freaked out down here because raiders spawn and it's also a hot spot for PvP. So you really do have to be careful. So we need to hit the power before we can even take this extract. So this right here is the hotbed. This is where it's gonna get nasty if it's gonna get nasty. You'll typically find a lot of bodies littered throughout here, raiders and PMCs. Just pay attention for any dead bodies. If you see them, approach with caution or go the other way. Flip the power button. And now you gotta run it down to D2 where you're gonna hit the switch and open up the door. Now, I tend to stop and just listen in this area. Really, I just stop and listen. I check for dead bodies. I kind of feel the situation out before I decide to take D2 all the way. But if you run up here and hook a left, you can see we gotta go down this staircase. Now, there, these doorways are actually really tight corners. And it's kind of scummy, but people will stand at the opposite ends and just watch these doors and try to hold them down. So, you want to pay attention to if doors are closed, like a bunch of them in succession. As you run through here, we can go upstairs, go through here. Now, this is the final stretch and where it just gets super sketchy. Especially this door we walk through here, people can literally sit behind it and shoot you, so always check it. Really check all of these doorways, like check behind them. You know, like you're clearing like your hallway at 3am for a snack from the refrigerator. 
we go now we go through here and you're gonna want to check left and right because people will also stand there i've been extract camped 50 ways to sunday trying to get to this extract and it takes so frustrating when it does happen i tend to just go the other way but you know hey, more often than not it ends up working out for me because i'm more tired now i'm going to show you what it's like from black pond on the fourth floor to get down to d2 now it's going to look pretty similar you're just going to head down the stairs Go all the way down, like all the way. Once you get to the basement floor, follow it down, open up this doorway. It connects to the other side of the building. And this is where you're going to get access to the tunnels that lead to D2. It's a little bit of a different pathway from the other building, but you got to remember they're both basically right next to each other. So it's not that far apart. Just make sure that you check your corners because shady stuff happens. Here's the hot room again. And I mean, it gets hot. Like I, there are so many times I've had players sit in here because there's a marked room right next to the power switch. There's Intel folder spawns on the desks around there. It's just a hot spot for the players that are looking to get money, which is quite frankly, everybody. So as you take the right and follow it all the way down, you're gonna hook a left. Now we take it up the incline and down the stairs. Rinse, repeat. Let's avoid repetitiveness here and just skip through all of that. Thank you for watching. If this video gave you value, please share it with a friend, hit that like button, and of course the subscribe button as well. It helps the channel immensely. And if you have any questions about the game, I'd love to have you in my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Captain K, where I stream most nights around 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.